Game on like a bitch can't clear whole chill. Whole lot of shit on feel. Been caught bad. Been to the Lewis. I been. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ty, aka Glam by Ty. And for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because I provide all videos for wigs, beauty, life updates, makeup. Um, sis, we just gonna get into it, okay? Today's look, though. Oh my god, I'm super excited. Like y'all probably can't feel, but I'm jittery. It's like I'm super excited for this look. But it's going to be a challenge, okay? Um, honestly, I've never had a wig like this before. I've cut my hair like this myself before. Yeah. So, if you guys see the thumbnail and this look turned out good and I actually post this video, smash that like button because this is, this is a whole project, sis. The wig for today, I believe this wig is from Hair Spells. Um, they sent me two wigs. I, they sent me, ay, ay, ay. It was two wigs they sent me. This was the second one. The first one, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure the video was on my This is what she looks like. She's super cute, okay? I love, love, love the short. I love the body. I love the volume. Um, but she's not like a normal wig, okay? She is human hair, which I was surprised to peep because of the wig construction. It kind of threw me off. Um... So basically, it's an L-shaped wig. So I'm gonna show you guys the inside, but just not yet. Um, the parting is, let me bring her down some. Bridget. Bridget, you know I'm a midget. So basically, the her parting is from here to here. And then they do give you a little bit of wiggle room, like, right here but literally y'all look i'm not even like kidding that's literally how much lace you get okay and then there's a track right there that's it this that's all that's all you're gonna get and the sides are very minimal like uh look at this very minimal i haven't worn a wig like this in a while but I feel like this will be a cute, easy, like, look, very minimal. There's tracks right here. So, we is back to the old finesse ways, okay? This is going to be another video of this finesse series because we're going to make her into something. We're going to make her into what I've envisioned the, the look to be. Hopefully, it comes out right. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, I could just really pipe her. But y'all are gonna walk me through it. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna make this a voiceover just for the simple fact that I need to focus. Okay, like I said, I haven't cut hair in a while. So I need to focus and I need to find a guide and just start somewhere really good and really simple for me. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna just I'm gonna get the work in. Okay, so basically, I just started by combing the hair out, and I'm just finding basically the shortest piece at the bottom, and I'm using that as my guide. It's really, really hard for me to explain to you guys how to cut hair. I'm not professional at all. I do it how I do it and what works for me, and honestly, I take off a little so I can always go back in and take more rather than taking off too much, and then you're just fucked after that. But um, I tried to follow the shape of the head like it does have a tapered cup in the back and then a little bit longer in the front. So I tried to keep that and also wanted to keep all of the layers. So, um, yeah, I made sure I did that. Okay, I had to do most of it off camera. I'm sorry, it was just too hard. Um, and then I'm not a professional or nothing like that. So me cutting is the way I cut and it works for me. Like, that, that. Um, so this is what she looks like. She looks fuller now because she's a little dry. I'm gonna wet her. We're gonna wet her. I mean, we are going to wear her wet. So I'm not even gonna even play around and try to do anything. Also, another thing that I did was I bleached the knots and I went on ahead and plucked it. But I did this 
um, earlier prior to me doing the cutting but yeah as you can see it doesn't look too bad I mean you know from here to here we'll be able to work like if it was a closure so fingers crossed I'm gonna go on ahead and get myself ready to put her on and then I'll come back to you guys when I'm ready to actually glue her down um gee I keep forgetting to show you guys what the inside of the wig looks like so this is what she looks like um as y'all can see this is where the L uh, parting is it, it's literally that's it you just get a part that's it you get this much of lace on the side which is nothing and then this much lace on this side which if you guys can see let's just get into it and let's just be real real honest with ourselves if you guys can see this is constructed like a synthetic wig however i know that it's human hair because when i went to go bleach the knot it started to dye the hair a little bit so i'm like oh shit this hair could be bleached which means that it's obviously it might be um a remy or synthetic mix or a hybrid mix of a of human hair but it is human hair now as y'all can see you get literally this much parting space like in between my nails right there yeah that's how much parting there is on the sides it's hardly nothing so i think this is a really 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 good way to finesse for you guys because y'all have been asking me like oh get do more like finesse videos where you finesse beauty supply store wigs it's not a beauty supply store wig but nine times out of ten if you buy a wig from a beauty supply store it's gonna come like this necessarily um just with the part a little bit of side space and that's it you don't get too much when you buy wigs from beauty supply stores okay so i'm so excited right now because i'm already just looking at it and i'm like oh it's giving the vibe it's giving what it was said it was gonna fucking get so i went on ahead cut them ear tags whatever as y'all can see it really doesn't look like i even am gonna be able to like make baby hairs or nothing i'm gonna finesse that that's not gonna be there when we're done you know what i mean it is okay so anyway <laughs> I'm going to just uh, literally take all this up and pin it and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cheat with this. Alright, I'm going to cheat <laughs> and I'm going to do each section by section. Easier for me. So, first things first, I'm gonna start with this middle section. I'm gonna just pull it up a little bit. And honestly, this wig is small head friendly. Now, is it big head friendly? I'm not 100% sure, but nine times out of ten, a lot of my wigs, even when I go on ahead and put the adjustable straps on the back of them, they still tend to be a little bit big. But this one actually like is flat on my head. It's super secure. And all I did was just adjust the straps and that was it. So, yay me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even show you guys what I was using. My got to be um, invisible styling gel, of course. I use it all the time. And y'all, I what I put my wigs on with are easy, simple beauty supply products. Okay, I am investing in a lace glue, but I just haven't found one that does what I wanted to do, especially with me being someone who changes my hair all the time. I need a lace glue that's gonna stay secure, but it's gonna be easily removed. Now I'm going to take my got to be my free spray and I'm going to just, oops, not too much. I like doing thin layers of the gel and then putting as much free spray as I want. Because you can always build with free spray. It's more easy to work with. But too much gel, it makes like a glob of bullshit. Take 
You guys, this looks crazy. But please, trust the process. I'm telling you, you have to trust the process. I'm gonna comb it out. I ain't even much lace to comb, but I mean. And this is where most of the lace is, and majority of it is at, and that part looks pretty decent, so. All right, so now for this side and this side, I'm just gonna speed it up for you guys. Y'all pretty much know how I do all my installs. They're all the same. Um, I'm gonna speed it up and I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm ready to actually cut the lace off. Our next step is going to be taking um, our scissors and cutting off this lace. Um, all right, quick little tip for you guys. I'm not going to cut my lace right here, right? Most of us think like, oh shit, you know, the hairline starts here, so let me cut where the hairline starts. We're not going to do that. I'm going to leave a little bit of lace on there. And the reason why I say this is because it's a little teeny bit. It's not enough to be like, oh sis. You, sh you left some lace on your, your wig you should have cut that off no it's not gonna be like that but i could show you better than i could tell you so normally i cut zigzag so i'm gonna do the same thing but i'm making sure that i'm staying away from the hairline um it's hard to kind of explain but as y'all can see like there's still some lace on here like this is lace this is the hairline so there's still some lace but from behind it gives it the illusion that there's a graduate hairline or a faded hairline like as if it was really scalp i do this with my synthetic wigs and i think that helps a lot plus you know um actually going on ahead and plucking and things like that but i think that this just adds on a little extra touch that isn't gonna hurt it's not gonna do any damage to our wig or anything like that All right, y'all, because I was really getting frustrated. I was really ready to wild the fuck out. I was getting so annoyed at these damn babies. But anyway, let's not dwindle on that. Y'all see me do this numerous times. Ain't nothing different. Um, only thing different that I am doing now because I don't have my wrapping bone. I usually would put my wrapping bone on my baby hair. It's just that I've been spraying free spray on an edge brush and using that to actually make my baby hairs but then i'll brush them out so they're not like hard or crunchy or nothing and so far it works All right, I'm gonna try to attempt to style this. We 
wish me luck. Got my water bottle. I'm gonna just start spraying it with some water. I'm going to use the Curl Sculptor from Garnier Fruities just to give it some hold to the waves or curls or whatever. guys this is the finished result honestly it came out super cute it didn't come out how i wanted it to but it still came out super super cute um i just i love shortcuts i feel so playful with this cut hey, you guys it's definitely something you definitely have to like get used to it's not something that's just gonna be like oh i'm gonna love it no you gotta get used to it you gotta know how to wear it um and honestly i don't wear short hair unless my face is beat so we had to incorporate this look because I was not playing. Like I have mentioned before, this wig is from Hair Spells. And this is one of their pixie wigs that I went on ahead and cut just a little bit. Just a little bit. I ain't cut too much. Just cut a little, little bit. And yes, it's super cute. I kind of want to cut my hair now, but don't. somebody please let me know in the comments because I will. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. If you're new to my channel and you just this is how you found my channel, hit that subscribe button, sis, because we got... We got more coming. We got more coming. Okay. Bye, you guys.